DJ make it hot like wow. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Indian Hand. We're in the gym right now. Yeah, we're we gonna are. show you <laughs> We're gonna show you guys some do's and don'ts of form, some form that we see messed up. So we wanna correct it a little bit and show you guys what we're talking about. I'm NASM certified, so we're not just talking, like I said from experience, but we're talking from like actually knowing what we're talking about and getting that certification so we know what we're doing with form. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. So we're gonna start by going over the incorrect form of different workouts. This is the incorrect form of a squat. My knees are caving in and my toes are pointed out. This incorrect form will give me injuries. Now we move to the correct form. My toes are planted on the ground facing forward and my knees are rotated out so they are not caving in. Now we move to the incorrect form of a lunge. I'm leaning forward and I'm putting too much weight in my front knee, which is causing a lot of knee pain and I'm not stable. Moving into the correct form of a lunge, my core and my spine are in line with my knee and my glute and I'm not letting my knee cross over my front toe. Now we move to the incorrect form of a tricep extension. Andrew's elbows are completely rotated out and he's not isolating his triceps. Going into the correct form of a tricep extension, Andrew is lowering the dumbbells to where his forearms touch his bicep and his elbows are turned in. By turning in his elbows, he is isolating his triceps. Now I move to the incorrect form of a bicep curl. I'm using my back and my shoulders to thrust up the weights instead of isolating my biceps and my shoulders are forward instead of down and back. This is the correct form of a bicep curl. I'm keeping my shoulders down and back, isolating my bicep, and I'm keeping my elbows nice and tight to my sides. Moving into the cable machines, we're going to talk about the incorrect form for a cable curl. Right now, Andrew's using his back and his shoulders to swing instead of isolating his bicep. Moving into the correct form of bicep curl, Andrew's elbows are nice and tight into his sides and he's isolating his biceps and not swinging. Going into a cable tricep pushdown, Andrew's elbows are turned out and he's not isolating his triceps. Moving into the correct form of a cable tricep pushdown, Andrew's elbows are tight against his side. When he pushes down, his triceps are flexed and he's rotating his wrists out. All right, everybody, thanks for watching our do's and don'ts with form. Hope you guys learned something. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Like, give it a comment. Let us know what you think about these form videos if you want to see more of them. We enjoy making them for you guys and informing you guys on in the right form. Andrew has something to say? No, I. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Oh, um, I was just wanting to say that we over, we dramatize them. Yeah, so, so some of the forms I see are really bad, but some of them we over dramatize so that you guys can see, so that you guys can see um, the incorrect in the correct form and emphasize the correct form more for you yeah, guys. Yeah, that's what I just was yeah. to say. Okay, subscribe. <laughs> Peace out, Andy and Han.